Today we're pretty much going to be doing an oil change on the silica and that's the, Jesus, it's a lot bigger than I thought. Alright, well we're going to do an oil change on the silica and I'm trying to get in here, move this car out, put the silica in here, do the oil change and I was going to update you guys on pretty much the status of the silica and what I'm probably going to end up doing to it and with it uh, over the Christmas break. So let's go ahead and get all that started. Alright, so we got this car out, and we can go ahead and get the silica in. Um, I'm not going to turn it on because there's no point of turning it on. Got to save that gas. Save that gas tank, make sure it goes all the way. And the silica is extremely dirty, as you guys can see. I have to wash it at some point. I'm kind of, kind of been neglecting it. So... This was the plan I was going to do with the silica. Let me get in here and talk to you guys about it real fast. All right, so as you guys know, the silica is turbocharged and a lot of other good stuff. So pretty much, um, it's kind of a nuisance in some part, in some aspects. Like, for example, while I was driving on the highway, I lost my boost controller, this gauge, and this gauge, and just because my wiring job um, wasn't the greatest. But I've, I fixed it for right now. It's all good. Um, another one of my issues I was having is pretty much the exhaust drone is just getting to me now. It was getting annoying. And I kind of came to the brilliant conclusion of kind of buying a second car. I haven't bought it yet. I don't know. I'm trying to find a truck. So, so you guys know that with a truck, I can tow the silica to a few places without having to worry about it breaking or it shutting off randomly on the highway. Um, just little concerns that like that wouldn't bother me anymore. So pretty much my idea is to do that. And there's my brother, he's going to help me push the silica inside. So yes, I will explain more of that later on in the video of my whole plan. But right now we're going to get this, gar this car inside the garage real fast. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this show on the road. I can't believe of all the stuff I've done to my car, I haven't had a floor jack to actually like jack up the car in the air or anything or put it on stands. I've usually done all the work at my uncle's place. There we go. Nothing crazy, just a couple floor jacks. I thought I needed a pocket knife for this. I don't think so. Two ton floor jack and lift, nothing crazy, just whatever gets the job done, honestly. Pretty much it. I can show you the oil that I use. Pretty sure it was in my Q and A with the silica, but this one just doing normal synthetic uh, 5W30. There we go. Focus uh, 5W30 Mobile One Turbo Silica. Let's go and get this thing up in the air. Okay, so now the oil's coming out. It took about 10 minutes to get all that out. It'll probably be about five before that's all done. Uh, not replacing the filter. Don't need to do that till the next oil change. Should be fine either way. So yeah, that's coming out. All right, so the oil is finishing draining. It's about to be, it should be done actually by now. Oh, it's almost done, it's still leaking a little bit. So while that's finishing up, I'm gonna head record the second segment. And pretty much the second segment is gonna cover the plan of attack I had for the Celica. Um, pretty much what I want from the Celica is for it to be my weekend warrior. So in other words, I get a second car as a truck um, and then, go ahead and um, convert this to an actual 
well not convert it, but make it the actual car I want it to be. But in order for that to happen, I need a second car so the Celica, if it's down, for whatever reason, it's not the end of the world. And I'm still able to get, to get to work and go to school and all that other good stuff. So in order for that, for that to happen, I need to save up a little bit for the truck. Um, it's not going to be a big fancy truck, just a regular Ford or Dodge. I'm still looking. I'm finding a couple good deals here and there, but still, still trying to find the good one that I want. But in order for that, I need to save up a little bit of more money. But then once I have the truck, the Celica can go down for maybe a couple weeks. I pop out the uh, FIC, sell it, sell the harness that comes with it, get money for that upgrade or get the uh, EMS4 harness, plug it in, go get it tuned, the car performance-wise is done. I was hoping to have all that done before the new year, but at the rate things are going, it's probably not going to happen before the new year. It might be a little while before I'm actually able to do any of that stuff. So, my main goal right now is to get a truck. And it's also just the car starting to give me headaches. Whenever I'm driving it, like the exhaust drone on the highway, driving an hour. like It, it, it just gets annoying after a while. But if it was just like a weekend car, oh man, I would love this thing to death. I still love it, it's just, you, you, you gotta... It's a lot of work to keep up with and not get annoyed by it. But that's pretty much it. I really want to get the truck so then the Celica can just stay in this garage for a couple weeks, a month at a time. Keep it right there. Um, keep it right there in that corner right there. I'll have to get rid of all that stuff. But keep it over there in that section. I have my truck. No worries. Save up some money. Sell the computer that's already in or the piggyback that's on here. Get money for the bigger one or the better one. Plug it in, go get it tuned, and the car's done. But I, but throughout that whole time, I'm not stranded here waiting for the thing to be done. I actually, I'm, I'm not. I wouldn't be too worried about it. All right, so that's that's my plan of attack with this. I really want to get that truck so I can open up time, or so I can open up. I, oh, well, what's a good way of saying it? I, I can open up a window of opportunity of having the car here so then I'm not worried about it all the time and also things would get done better I wouldn't have to be rushing and should I have to get this done in the next two days or else I'm not gonna be able to get back to work or something like that so right now that's my plan saving up for a truck and then the Celica will become my actual race car I call it the race car now but it would actually become a real race car because I would I would like eventually to get like um, coils get new wheels uh, get the hood, carbon fiber hood. I've always wanted one of those. Just do those types of mods to it. But since I haven't had the time, well, I, I went the other route. I did performance. I had to make sure the performance was there so the Celica looks as fast as, so the Celica is as fast as it looks. The other half is, I'm going to start uploading a, well, I've, I've been doing this this channel. It's kind of weird. It's It started off as like a gaming channel and then I kind of progressed over to a, um, kind of like a, what's it called, um, car channel, car enthusiast channel, but I do do a lot of sim racing online, well not online, but you, you, you guys know what I mean, I do a lot of live streaming on sim racing, so I do a lot of drifting in Assetto Corza and Forza, so if you guys don't mind, I'm going to be uploading some of those videos onto here, but definitely the Celica is going to be the main part of the channel, but I just want to have something uploading. I always like making YouTube videos, no matter what it is. But yeah, I do a lot of drifting, a lot of racing, a lot of sim racing, I should say. Sim racing, sim drifting. I have the wheel, I have the pedals, I have all that good stuff. I live stream most of it, so if you guys do want to come and check that out, I'll have a link in the description for that. But hopefully, um, the Celica, I mean, any, any project like this, it just takes a while to complete, so hopefully you guys aren't like super super like anxious for me to finish it I can't finish it right now it's just all the stuff that would require for me to do requires the car being down for at least two two to three weeks maybe even a month so I can shift parts in and out and go get it tuned and all that stuff but for me to have no car for a month that's that's impossible it's literally impossible so that's it Silica's all done. We're gonna give it a quick wash.
All right guys, so there's the silica drying up and that pretty much concludes the end of this video. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of this turbo silica. I will be posting some gaming videos of sim racing because I'm a big fan. So yeah, see you guys around. Coming forward.